plan for the rest of your season what does that look like uh, the plan of uh, another season I want to do the the the, the time yeah. uh, to go in Budapest uh, I have uh, many competition to do uh, I think uh, I can uh, do the time and this is a new track here in the stadium did it feel good to run on yes I like the track I like the the condition, the, the public, it's very good, but uh, it's very cold. Yeah. Yeah, you, well, congratulations and uh, best luck qualifying for Budapest. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, in fairness, it started out slow and then Louis just. Oh, it was good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the pace got out pretty hot. Uh, so I was content to sit in the middle, kind of closer to the back of the pack. Uh, and then that second lap, I was just looking forward at the people ahead of me and telling myself, go get them one at a time. And uh, work my way back up in a good position going into that final hundred. And then just finish strong. And I'm grateful to have gotten the win today. Yeah, and the difficult conditions as well. You must be happy with your two minute clock. In. Yes, absolutely. I mean, conditions, fortunately, things got a little bit better. Uh, it's still windy, but at least it's, you know, it's not raining. So I was I was okay with the conditions. Today. Plans for the rest of your season. Obviously, there's the World Championships coming up. So what is the rest of your season going to look like? Yeah, this is just the beginning of the postseason for me. Uh, unfortunately, I did not make our World Championship team. Um, but I've got a few more races in Europe. I'll be in Marseille uh, in a few days, and then hopefully in Lucerne as well. Um, and then I'll be back in the States for a bit, and then maybe back overseas in September for another few races to so end. So a lot more season. racing to go. Yeah, much more racing to go. We're and of course, this is our uh, this is our new uh, track here at Morton Stadium. How did it feel to run on? Oh, it was great. I mean, I'm a person, I came here in 2019 and ran this race um, before the new track was put in. And you can definitely feel the difference. The surface is, is so much uh, bouncier, and um, I felt like that that helped me out today and it was reflected in the time so yeah great stadium um, great atmosphere I mean I'm looking at all the people who came out to you despite the weather it was awesome definitely well congratulations best luck to all the rest of your races thank you thank, thank you, you. Thank you. 
I feel pretty good. Um, I'm happy about the win. Uh, been through a lot of things trying to get here and um, battled with some injuries over the past month, so it feels pretty good. The, the win down the home straight and the conditions here today for sprinting aren't completely ideal. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Um, if if the wind wasn't blowing as hard, it'd have been a little better because it's not too cold because we're warm because yeah. we're warming up inside. But uh, the wind definitely was blowing super hard, and as you can see, we just beat the rain, so that's good too. And going through the heats and coming to the final, how confident were you coming into the? Um, I was very confident because confident because I put the work in. Um, but I did have some problems getting here. I didn't get to the track actually until maybe 20 minutes before I had to be to the call room, so my warm-up was pretty short. I had to warm up at the, at the hotel, actually, and finish it here. So um, my plan in the prelim was literally get to the final top four, so that's what I did. And then I we warmed up for the final. And, and then plans for the rest of the season. Obviously, I had the NCAA championships, now the Morton games today. What are the plans for the rest of the season? Um, I'm not sure yet. I got to talk to my coach, uh, give him my my uh, injury, of course, and uh, see where to go from there. So, won't keep you much longer. Getting out of the rain. Thanks very much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks thank so you. much. It always rains yeah. at the morning games, so doesn't it? So. <laughs> it's a workout, like a gym workout, or is it right? running? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Can we hold the camera for you? Oh, very much. Also, last year from the United States, taking victory in the women's 1500 meters. Uh, how was it out there? Oh, it was very windy um, and rainy, but the competition was great. It was a lot of fun. The crowd was amazing. So I definitely enjoyed it a lot. On your time, 407, are you happy with that? Yeah, I mean, given the conditions, yeah, 407. Um, I was hoping to just race to try to win today, so time wasn't really a huge factor for me today. And you had a, very, uh, a race against a very competitive field with the likes of Alex Bell from GB, Sarah McDonald, so that must have helped you along the way. Absolutely, yeah. Sarah was definitely giving me a run for my money that last lap. Um, she was pushing me really hard. Um, yeah, so we, we had a fast last lap yeah and your plans for the rest of the season um i'm racing in marseille france on the 17th and then heading back home training for a couple weeks and then back at it um hopefully the beginning of august congratulations thank you could you just talk through the conditions as well today obviously they're not ideal for racing yeah um it was very windy especially leading up front there i had no one in front of me blocking the wind so it was definitely tough but it was good practice, just staying strong and trying not to focus on things like wind and rain and just, yeah. And then your plans for the rest of the season? Um, Marseille, France on the 17th and then flying back home to Boston, training for a couple weeks and then hopefully getting back at it uh, beginning of August. Definitely. Well, we'll let you go and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Come on, Ephraim!
Imagine. 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 Imagine.
Where's Kaho? over in France. I remember that's he was over in France today I interviewed Nick Griggs. We're at Carl Doyle after the Morton Moyle here. Call a little bit different results than last year. Yeah, no certainly coming in uh, it was gonna be a lot tougher in terms of the depth of the field but no it's not the worst run in the world. I, I fought all the way I gave it a good go for the first no, 800, 900, so, uh, no, it's a, it's a PB, small one again, but I'll take it. Yeah, definitely, it went out really, really fast, obviously, Ryan taking the win, he, he, he just, he really just took the race into, into his own hands, how did that play into, into how you had to run? Yeah, I certainly didn't plan on getting in right behind him, uh, because I started off in lane one, I made a conscious effort to, you know, get out, get out hard, but... And I found myself in it, I was like, right, let's go, let's give it a go. Definitely. And then you had Nick Riggs just in front of you coming into the final lap as well. Yeah, I probably gave him a little, I gave him a little bit too much, uh, 200 to go, but, you know, I was only, what is it, there was only like, you know, a tiny little bit between us, so, no, it looks good now going into the, the Nationals at the end of the month. Definitely. You're on your home turf here as well, your first race on the home turf, like you said, you have the Nationals as well. Talk us through the track, have you been training on it as well? Yeah, no, uh, certainly it definitely dried up a little bit, but no, I've been on it for the last like two weeks or so since I got home, and uh, no, it's great, it's great, it's nice and bouncy. And now, so continue training now, coming up to the Nationals? Yeah, just keep tipping away, I'm racing an 800 on Wednesday night, so just sharpen up again, and uh, yeah, just keep going, keep tipping away to the Nationals. Well, best luck with the Nationals and congratulations tonight. Thank you. <laughs> you know it. So we're here with Nick Riggs after placing third in the men's more and mile here in Morton Stadium. How are you feeling? Initial thoughts? Uh, feelings initially, uh, free up over there. So uh, <laughs> honestly, not great. I think I had a few many, a few too many yowies pre-race, but um, no, I'm, honestly, uh, felt good during the race. And um, a few wee things it was windy, but again, it came out with a good time. New national junior record. I would like to be quicker, but the way I ended up panning out, it was trying to be a bit tactical on the last lap and. Uh, yeah, close hard, felt good, so good signs. Another, good to get another fast 15 slash mile on the belt, and then, uh, yeah, so overall, good to at the office, yeah. It seems every race you go into, especially over the mile and 1500 metres, you're setting a new record. How has how training been going? Everything must be going smoothly? Yeah, everything's going well, yeah. It's good to finally got the exams out of the way. Yeah. Last time I was talking to you, I was doing them in, uh, over in Nice, so yeah. got them out of the way finally, so it's nice to, I feel like I'm a, starting to find my distance and probably over the 15 mile type of distance so yeah it's uh, nice to come out and just keep improving and keep getting experience and I'm still relatively a novice in running in the event so getting more experience over the distance is uh, it's always helpful yeah and like you said there from a personal point of view and a professional point of view what, what what's it looking like now for you from the future you got the exams over you you're sponsored by Puma you're running fast times every single race what what's the future looking like um it's exciting yeah I've got European juniors coming up in the summer, so after that, hopefully, I can make world uh, senior champs. So, yeah, it's just about focusing on the summer and then we'll get that over and uh, all guns blazing for next year when I'm going to take it to that next step. Definitely, definitely. Well, Nick, look, congratulations today. Obviously, new track as well. How did that feel under four? It felt good, actually. Yeah, yeah, it didn't feel too bad. Yeah, it's nice to get a run out in Morton again. I haven't been here since last year, so, yeah, it was... Um, Unbelievable track, it's always a great night, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm buzzing to just get out and race the Morton Mile again, and hopefully I'll be back next year to improve even more. Definitely. Well, once again, congratulations, and uh, we'll be keeping an eye on you in the future. Cheers, thanks very much.